welcome, I'm Sarah Diso of Sarah Fit for Everyday Health. If you're new to fitness, you're trying to get back in shape, or you're just curious where your overall fitness is at right now, I've got a quick four exercise fit test for you to do at home. All you need is a timer. I'm gonna use my cell phone so that I can also record my results. You'll wanna do this fit test once every two or four weeks. If you do it any sooner than that, you're probably not gonna see much of an improvement. Uh, so to start, we're gonna come down on our mat. We're gonna need a timer for this exercise. We're gonna challenge ourselves and see how long we can hold a plank. Now, I prefer to do the plank on my forearms. If that's too difficult for you, you can do it up on your hands. However, the next time you do this test, you wanna make sure you do it with the same form. So, we're gonna start our timer and we're gonna come into plank position. Now, I'm not gonna actually show you how long I can do it for, but I am gonna show you the form. You wanna have your hands facing down. Some people like to bring their hands together, but I prefer a part so that you open up that chest. You wanna squeeze your glutes, lift your kneecaps up, press your heels to the back wall, your head to the front wall, and really lift your abs up and suck them in. You wanna make sure that your back your back shoulder blades are drawing together and really just make sure that your whole body just forms a stiff, tight line. You want to hold it until you're shaking and you can't hold it any longer. Go ahead, drop, record your time. That's the first one. The next one is also going to be related to time. However, this one, we're going to see how many sit-ups we can do in one minute. If you have a buddy handy, let them hold down your feet or you can ask them to help you count. So you're just gonna have your knees bent. We're not gonna do a crunch. We're going to do a full on sit up. So come on down. If you want, you can use your hands to kind of propel you up forward because we're gonna see how many we can do in a minute. I'm gonna use my hands right by my ears and we're gonna come on up and see my hands came up to the sides because we're gonna kind of challenge ourselves and you wanna do them as fast as you can. So see how many sit-ups you can do in a minute. They don't have to be pretty because we're just seeing how many we can do. And I promise you, you will be able to do more as you get stronger. So the third exercise is the push-up test. You don't need a timer for this exercise because you want to see how many you can do until your muscles are completely fatigued and you cannot do any more. So for the women out there who can do real push-ups, I want you to do a modified version. The reason for this is that this is a pretty universal test and if you'd like to compare your level of fitness to other females out there, you're gonna wanna use the modified version. Men, you're gonna wanna do this the regular way. So you're gonna come with your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. Come on down to your knees. You're gonna lower your chest, if you can, all the way to the ground and push back up. If you can only do three push-ups, that is totally fine. Be honest with yourself. If you really push yourself too far and you find in two weeks you don't improve, you don't want to be discouraged. So be honest. Come on down, push up. You want your elbows to be coming out at about a 45 degree angle. And you're just going to do this exercise until you cannot do any more. Now the last exercise is a wall sit. Now you're gonna need your timer for this exercise again. Find a wall, I'm actually gonna use this table. And you want your feet to be a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. So just hang out here, engage your core, press your back into the wall, squeeze your glutes, and we're just gonna hang out. Your timer's going, you can talk on the phone, you can check your email. Uh, you're basically just gonna see how long you can do this before your legs start shaking and go out. So as soon as your legs start shaking kinda like this and you can't do it any longer, you're gonna come on up and take a break. You wanna record all of your results, someplace that you're not gonna lose them, like maybe your phone or a journal that you have. So try doing this fit test every two to four weeks. If you do it any more often than that, you might not see results and you might be discouraged. So make sure you allow enough time to actually let your fitness level improve. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. What did you think? If you liked it, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. And also, Jillian Michaels has a brand new show here on Everyday Health YouTube channel. Don't forget to check it out.